Southern Miss Sports Today with Coach Joy Lee McNellis is brought to you by Bancor South, right where you are. And brought to you in part by Hattiesburg Coca-Cola. Want a taste of everything? Drink Coke Zero with real Coke taste and zero calories. The City of Hattiesburg, a proud sponsor of Southern Miss Athletics. UPS, we love logistics. One Mississippi, now open for small business. And the University of Southern Mississippi, it's great to be a Golden Eagle. Welcome into another exciting year of Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis. The Lady Eagles off to an 8-4 and four start on their season. Second best non-conference record in all of Conference USA and right where the Lady Eagles thought they would be heading into the meat of the Conference USA schedule. It's going to be an exciting year here on the show. Added features, player interviews, legends interviews, first looks at upcoming opponents at the end of the show. And we start this week, though, coming off two of the biggest wins of the season. On the road, 89-57 against Nichols State. And then an overtime win against Tyler Summit and Louisiana Tech. And, Coach, we got a lot of highlights for La Tech. We want to get to those as we discuss. But real briefly on Nichols State, that's one of those turning point type games. When you go on the road and score 89 points against anybody and win by 32, it says a lot about a basketball team. You know, Josh, I really think that, you know, we, we hit a few bumps in the road in the, the early season going into Christmas. And I think that all of our players returned with a renewed spirit, with a renewed commitment wanting to be ready to make that change, make that difference. I think everything was laid out, and I thought they did a tremendous job to responding to the two-a-days after Christmas in preparation for the Nickel State game. And, you know, I actually said a prayer that we would play unbelievable in that game just so we could understand the fruits of our labor. And when you work really hard, good things happen, and it did in that basketball game. You know, Tamara Jones shot the cover off the ball. We had several people that scored big for us. Brittany Dinkins, her 18 points in that ball game as well. But it was a great team win. A lot of players did a lot of special things in that basketball game, and it was a real team play. You know, we passed the ball. It was inside out. We entered the ball to the post. They would jack Sigma, make the pitch out. We made the extra pass. And, again, that's what we've been looking for for this team because we don't have that one player off the bounce that can create. We're not that kind of team. You know, we're the team it has got to be a true team in moving the basketball. And we were able to see just a glimpse of that at Nickel State. And then a highlight field game at Louisiana Tech, 79-77 in overtime. And it was not necessarily at times a well-executed game by both teams, but a program that the staples are toughness and grit and winning 50-50 balls. Then Tyler Summit is instituting those same things that he got from his mom, Pat, at Louisiana Tech. They're going to be very quickly one of the best teams in the league. So two teams scrapped for 45 minutes into overtime. It was a great ball game. You know, I'm glad we won for sure. But it was a great basketball game. We got off like gangbusters. I mean, we had played with an attack mentality. And before we ever got the uh, – La Tech got the ball to ever come to the offensive end, they had four fouls whistled on them. So, again, and it was because of our attack mentality. I do believe that set the stage for the entire game. Um, you know, we went like eight minutes in the first half, Josh, where we struggled. You know, we, we didn't score the ball. We missed easy shots. We missed free throws. We gave up O boards. That stretch was a tough stretch for us, and we were very fortunate – to be able to survive it. And I think one of the reasons why is because defensively, we took control defensively and was able to manage to hold true to what our game plan was defensively. Our defense carried us to the halftime. We made some adjustments at the half, and I thought our players really responded. We came back out in the second half. We only had about a four-minute stretch that we didn't score. But again, we kept that game close, hit some big clutch shots. Unfortunately, had a chance to win it in regulation. And again, I'm thinking on the sideline, oh no, here we go again. But fortunately, our players said, it's okay. And I got down in the huddle and I said, we're going to win this thing in overtime. And they really believed that. And I think we were able to see that. Josh, a couple of things I'd like to point out in that La Tech game. Obviously, in the second half, Tamara Jones stepped up and played unbelievable. Brooke Rhodes played unbelievable, hit big three balls in the first half. But I think when you look at that game and you look to assist to basket ratio, 21 to 35, that's really very good. 
Very good. You know, you're playing a team on the road that is truly, Louisiana Tech is more physical than we are. They're just, they're bigger girls. They are, their, their physique is just bigger than what we are. And, you know, you go on the road, you get popped in the mouth, you know, in that second half when they come out and, you know, it's it's a game and it's backwards and forth. You're on the home floor. They have a great crowd there. And we've got to be able to remain poised. And I was very proud of our, bas our assist to basket ratio and how many times, Josh, last year at this time, we would even get a little rattled. When a play broke down, we did not. The poise we showed in crunch time in situations as the shot clock was winding down, shows the true character of this team, and we saw a lot of poise in that, that game. You talk about how physical that game was, something in all the excitement we failed to mention in that post game was LaShira Cotton. Yes. I mean, she got drilled so hard, it dislocated her shoulder in the game, and she battles that. She's a tough cookie. She took it as well as she could, but that just shows you how physical it was. You know, it's very physical. You know, people were on the floor after loose balls. We would have three and four and five players diving on the floor, as did La Tech. You know, and it, you could tell that both teams gave it their heart and soul and wanted to win, wanted to do whatever it would take to be able to be successful. Fortunately, the Lady Eagles were able to come up big. The, probably the biggest play that Tamara Jones has made all year was the and one right there that really kind of sealed the victory for the Lady Eagles. And then in closing of this segment, is Louisiana Tech, we know they're underrated, but is that going to be a top five athletic physical team that we're going to see in the league this year? Oh, I, I, I th you know, I've not really watched beyond our next two games. Um, you know, I've not really paid any attention because I've not had time to go search for film. But I do know in looking at the three games that we have up front that we're playing, the one thing I can say is Keila Shelton that plays for Louisiana Tech and Whitney Frazier are two of the phys most physical players in these games, including our team. So I'm including our team in that. You know, they're very, very special players, and they're very, very tough. And if you look, when the game was on the line, one of those two players usually stepped up and made plays for Louisiana Tech. I think that Tyler will do a great job. You know, he's done a great job already. He's changing the culture. And I think that, um, you know, the Lady Texters will be back on the national scene very quickly. 79-77 in overtime. What a win for the Lady Eagles to get off to 1-0 in Conference USA. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll be mic'd up with the Lady Eagles. And we'll also sit down with Tamara Jones, the now reigning Conference USA Player of the Week. We'll take a break. Back after this, you're watching Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis. Conference USA celebrates 20 years. Each CUSA member has a history of greats. Deanna Jackson is part of UAB history. Old Dominion has Tisha Penachera. Southern Miss has Jamera Faulkner. Jerrica Coley is from FIU. And La Tech has Teresa Weatherspoon. Together, we are the next 20 years. The next generation of Conference USA. Don't miss one minute of Who's Next. From the very beginning, your life is made up of a series of moments. Each moment requires you to make a choice. Sometimes you don't really have much of a choice, but for the moments that you do, the big moments, what will you choose? Choose to discover your own path, to defy expectations, to be challenged. Choose to ask, what if, to make a difference. Choose to give back. Choose to do something that matters and make every moment count. Choose Southern Miss. Good. High and soft off the glass. Low on the dribble, elevate on the shot. Low on the dribble, elevate on the shot. Go hard, run. You're probably going to want to go baseline on this because all your help is going to be up top. Remember, it's a one through one, so there's going to be four defenders sitting up here. So it's going to be a baseline drive, okay? Baseline drive. Here we go. Charger special. Cut hard. Good. Throw back, shot fake, baseline drive. Score it. Very good. Two hands, two feet. Nice job. Score it. Finish it. Good, good, good. Okay, now give me a third person work and runner action. Work and runner action. Okay, so now we're going to utilize what we just did. Let's get the ball reversed a few times. If Katie gets the ball in the corner and dribbles up, dribbles up, V would now become the runner. Okay, y'all are looking to attack up top. We can't be stationary. The other thing that we can't do in runner, we can initiate it from this high, but as the ball works down, we've got to work down. 
Welcome back to Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis. And as you can see, we are joined by Tamara Jones, the preseason All-Conference USA selection and this week's Conference USA reigning player of the week. And Tamara, thank you so much for sitting down and joining us a little bit. We wanted to talk to you on your the heels of your best week of the season uh, to get that honor. 33 points in the win against Nichols State, 30 and 11 rebounds against Louisiana Tech. But we've got to go all the way back to the beginning of the season when he got that preseason award. There are a lot of expectations on you, and it wasn't the start you or your teammates were looking for. Take us back through what the journey has been like to this point and overcoming a little bit of adversity early this season. Um, the start we were looking for, we did not start how we wanted and how we thought we were going to start. Um, the loss with McNeese kind of, you know, set us back a little bit, but. I mean, we talked with each other, talked with the coaches, met, and we got confidence back and, you know, came back, won a couple. Um, then we ended up losing the three, um, Florida Gulf Coast, Mississippi State, Ole Miss by two, which, you know, the, though that game hurt worse than losing by more. So, you know, we had a couple meetings, did what we had to do, talked about what we needed to do as a team and as individuals to come back in, start conference off right. With all the confidence this team had earlier in the season, a lot of wins early, a 5-1 and one start out of the gate. And then you talked about that three-game losing streak. And we saw flashes, but a little bit of inconsistency mm -hmm. since Christmas, since kind of getting the batteries recharged and really taking up the dedication to another level, probably that this program hasn't seen in a long time. And that's been this team buying in and accepting Coach's Challenge. A big win against Nichols, a huge win on the road against Louisiana Tech. Has all that work been a real turning point as well? Um, yes, sir. It definitely has. You know, been spending extra time outside of practice with the free throws, um, extra shots, three balls, post moves, um, anything that we do to help us in a game, whether it's in a crunch time or just, you know, at the beginning of the game, everything that we do is t intended to help us win and, you know, flow together as a team. Speaking of those last two games, 63 points combined. And uh, to take the fans back through those two ball games, not only did you find your shooting touch, your teammates did as well. Mm -hmm. 23 threes by the Lady Eagles, shooting it at around 60%. It's no coincidence, is it, that you've put up and had to make 100 threes after every practice? Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially shooting all those extra shots, it's really helped not my confidence, but, you know, like Brooks and Alex Coyne, she's been shooting the three ball very well. But, like, it's helped everybody else as long with me. So if we keep doing it, we're going to keep getting confident and we're going to keep getting better at the three ball than we are. She's Tamara Jones, the reigning Conference USA Player of the Week. We're going to take a break and when we come back, we'll continue with the program. More features will come back and be joined by Shirley Jones Hill. Uh, she's will be featured in our weekly Lady Eagle Legends segment as part of our 40th anniversary of Southern Miss Lady Eagle basketball. We'll take a break. Stay with us. You're watching Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis. What if you could create a bank that's just right for you? It'd have to be reliable, right? Familiar and dependable. But you'd also want big time resources and financial tools to help you take care of the things that are important to you. You'd want a personal banker, someone who really knows you and can help you manage your assets, like offering a complete host of wealth management services. And there you go, Bank Corp South. A bank that's, well, just right for you. Bank Corp South, right where you are. As we continue with Southern Miss Sports today with head coach Joy Lee McNellis, we are joined now by Shirley Jones Hill. This is going to be our weekly feature segment with a Lady Eagle legend and be able to sit down with Shirley. We're so glad, Shirley, that you were able to join us to start off this season. It's going to be a fun ride this year, 40 years of Lady Eagle basketball. And for you, having been a part of basically all of those, uh, is really neat because of your perspective and, and what it's meant to you and the ride it's been, how much fun it's been. Take fans a little bit through that journey. Actually, I've only been part of the program for 38 years, Josh, not for it. <laughs> um, it's been a, a journey of joy, of excitement, of growing, of learning, 
uh, meeting new people, going places. It's just been a lifelong lesson from day one. For you to be a part of all the different uh, teams and all the different players and have that kind of perspective, you got a lot of stories, a lot of memories. Unfortunately, we don't have the, the hours to, to listen to him because they're wonderful stories. Uh, we were talking to Malcolm at Louisiana Tech and he saw you and he said, Shirley's probably telling a story over there. She's full of them. What's one that when, when people want that, that Southern Miss tidbit, that neat story, what's one that always comes to your mind? Probably the very first game I played at Southern Miss. Uh, we had to, uh, we left campus going to play at UNO and we jump in the vans and we head out 98 and then of course you have to go south on 59. Of course we went north. So I'm sitting there and our graduate assistant Nancy Paris at the time and I'm in her van and I calmly say, uh, Nance, are we going to New Orleans? She goes, yeah, not this way we're not. So. <laughs> We speed around and get in front of Coach James, it's the other way. So we go back and uh, that was the beginning of such a wonderful journey with her. So we get to UNO, naturally we can't find the, the arena. So we drive around campus and I think we probably allowed a 20 minute buffer everywhere we went because we were gonna get lost. It didn't matter where we went, we were gonna get lost. So we get there and you know, we have plenty of time but uh, so my first game, I remember scoring 21 points. So as a freshman and scoring 21 points in your first collegiate game, that was, that was something. So are you saying that our current director of basketball operations, Jeff Sturr, spoils us a little bit? No question about it. Uh, I don't even know what we would be like had we had a director of basketball operations back then. As a matter of fact, I tell our players all the time, if I had the stuff back then that you guys have now, I would be, I would have been so much better. You know, just amazing, you know, the weights and conditioning. I said, we had to figure out how we had to do all that stuff, but you know, we live to tell the story. But I still think uh, some of the teams that we've had in the past could just, will honestly could still play with them today. I mean, you put the two together, yeah, it'd be a battle. Just a few seconds left in this segment, uh, but uh, uh, Shirley is here with us and we're looking forward to the anniversary celebration coming up this weekend, just a few days from now, Shirley. Already over 50 former Lady Eagles have RSVP. Talk about the stories, the luncheon social, the ball game, the alumni game, before the ball game, then the dinner that night, the round table discussion. It's gonna be a lot of fun to have all those ladies back together. Stories, probably players will get together and go tell stories long into the night. Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of that. And I am very excited to see some of my former teammates and some of the players who played when, when I was coaching and some of the ones who, when I wasn't coaching, it's just, a, I think it's just gonna be so exciting to see those young, those women again. I almost said young ladies again, but we're all, you know, over 29, I believe. But, <laughs> you know, it's, I'm just so excited and I'm looking so, so forward to, to being able to see him again. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be coming up this Saturday, part of the 40th anniversary celebration, as it'll be Southern Miss taking on the UTEP Miners as part of that celebratory weekend. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up the show. It'll be our uh, initial first look segment of the season. We'll take a look at UTSA and UTEP, get a brief word from Coach on that. Coach will also tell us her exciting thoughts on the weekend that is to come. So stay with us. You're watching Southern Miss Sports Today with Head Coach Joy Lee McNellis. Gunderman Group. Gunderman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics.
Shot B, you shot B. What's up, Ash? Welcome back into our final segment of Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joyley McNellis. It's our initial first look at upcoming opponents, and we're also going to touch on the anniversary coming up this weekend, the 40th anniversary celebration of Southern Miss Lady Eagle basketball. But we start with a game coming up in just a few hours, coming up against UTSA, the Roadrunners coming into Reed Green Coliseum on Thursday night. And this is a Roadrunner team, uh, fourth in the league in steals, uh, right up there, top five in the league in block shots. Defensively, they're very, very good. They're very good defensively, and you know, the thing that Coach Luby has done a tremendous job since he's taken over is their intensity level that they play with. They play with a tremendous sense of urgency uh, defensively, and that creates a lot of baskets for them offensively. You know, last year as we watched them in the conference tournament, they almost upset Louisiana Tech in, that conference, in the conference tournament, and have since then continued to play and continue to build on the confidence that they had last year late in the season. So, again, when you look at that, they're very, very good. Return the majority of all their players. King, Kamari King is their best player that can really score the basketball. You know, then they got Ashley Spoletta that also can score. It's our second leading score, can rebound, can dish the basketball. So they have a lot of different weapons. But defensively, they hang their hat on it, and that creates a lot of offense for them. Then coming into town over the weekend is going to be for the anniversary. And we'll talk about the anniversary specifically in a moment, but the ball game is a huge one at 4 o'clock. I mean, to have a big crowd, UTEP Southern Miss, we only have to think back to last year in the Conference USA Tournament in El Paso. I promise the, the Miners haven't forgot about it, but no Krishana Parker, no Genzel Nash. Their roster has changed a little bit, and some younger players, though, as we know, always step up for the Miners. You know, Coach Keitha is such a great friend of mine, and we, we're very good friends, and she does an unbelievable job. You know, they had over 12,000 people at their game for the NIT championship last year and played in that NIT championship and almost won it. And, uh, you know, obviously we were pulling for her. Uh, and her team, but they are a very well coached team, Josh. And I will tell you the thing about their team, offensively, they're very explosive. They score in bunches. And as we know last year, when we played them in regular season, we had the game in our pocket until Kayla Thornton came alive, till Vitola came alive, till Willingham came alive. And they are very, very explosive. They were very explosive last year, and they're very explosive this year. Yes, their roster has changed, but they play with Coach Keitha's attitude to be in an attack mentality and shooting that three ball. So it's going to be a fun weekend for the Lady Eagles. UTSA on Thursday, Saturday for our 40th anniversary um, against UTEP. And again, you and I know what kind of rivalry that really is. It is a big rival between these two schools uh, in women's basketball. So we do. We need a big crowd out to come out and watch that game. It really is. I mean, different names, different numbers, same style of players for the UTEP Miners. And all part of that big 40th anniversary that will begin right before noon, players signing in and their families. Uh, we, we could have 200. When you take into account over 50 former players and their families, just about 200. Then we'll have some fans and also staff members and all in attendance. Uh, then it will all conclude in the touchdown terrace, the GNN touchdown terrace with the dinner, in between the game, the alumni game, signing autographs, a lot of stories will be shared. It's going to be a blast. And, you know, it's going to be a really fun-filled weekend, you know, particularly on that Saturday. And, you know, all of us that are a member of the Lady Eagle family, our careers all started here. You know, we had the opportunity where Southern Miss gave us that opportunity not only to live our dream to play college athletics, but also to live our dream of getting an education that would propel us into our next career. And so I'm just anxious to see everybody and to sit around and tell jokes and tell stories and, you know, just share the memories that we have. Because I can tell you, and speaking for myself, every player that I played with impacted my life here, as well as every coach, whether you be an assistant coach or co just Coach James, you know, each of them played a vital part in molding me and who I am today. And I'm, I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful to have the Lady Eagle family to be a part of my family. 
Uh, as we uh, put a wrap on this show, do want to remind you nine more episodes. We'll have the highlights of UTSA and UTEP as well as the anniversary next week. We'll look ahead to Middle Tennessee State and UAB. We'll also have more features, more players, more legends. It's going to be an exciting year as we celebrate 40 years of Lady Go Basketball. For Craig Adams, our producer and director, and for Coach McNellis, Tamara Jones, Shirley Hill, I'm Josh West. Until next time, you've been watching Southern Miss Sports Today with head coach Joyland.